Uh, firefighters are trained to face danger head on, but what happens when trouble ends up on their doorstep? That's exactly what happened to a fire station in Coeur d'Alene hit by lightning. KXLY Force Tanya Dahl is live in downtown Coeur d'Alene. Tanya, the station's still recovering from that lightning strike. It is still recovering. Some computers or phones are still down, but the biggest challenge that Fire Station 1 faced was trying to receive and respond to emergency calls. We had heard some lightning and thunder sounded like it was up to the north a little bit maybe 20 minutes prior. Wasn't windy or rainy or anything. Standing outside Fire Station 1, Deputy Chief Tom Greif was catching up with a fellow firefighter on Thursday when their conversation was cut short. I, I didn't know what to think first. I mean, it was just a loud flash, like an explosion. Out of nowhere, the communication tower that sits above Fire Station 1 was hit by lightning. I actually saw it hit the tower because I was facing this way, so we knew what it had struck. The electrical current was so strong it knocked Tom and two others to the ground. It just kind of took us to our knee and, you know, we kind of looked at each other, got back up, and um, we realized what had just happened. They weren't the only ones who felt Mother Nature's powerful punch. Firefighters on duty and co-workers in the nearby admin building all felt the surge. It shut down the station's 911 dispatch capabilities for about 24 hours, including phones and computer systems. My thoughts were that uh, sooner or later that tower was bound to get hit and um, just wasn't sure how long it would take and for the seven years I've been here it hadn't happened so. Four days later the station is still recovering from that lightning strike. Just a lot of the network cable that runs between the station and our admin building has been damaged and so our IT department has been working through the, the last few days to get everything back up to normal. As for Tom, he's got quite the story to tell and says once was enough. I think, you know, our distance away was good. I wouldn't want to be any closer and try and experience that again. And as of today, the Coeur d'Alene Fire Department believes that that lightning strike caused at least $10,000 in damage. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.